What's up, guys? Um, I know I'm not fully in frame right now, but it's me, Anthony Pies, also known as Film Buff 80. If you guys are OG um, subscribers of mine, you know what I'm talking about. But I've been wanting to talk about more about film lately. Uh, I know I haven't done a video in a while, but um, I still have actually two more parts to upload for um, episode nine of Binary Essentials. But I haven't um, gotten time to do it because I've been quite busy lately. Um, I've been also wanting to write more um, on my blog. I only wrote one post so far this year, so I gotta get up on that and uh, start writing some more posts on there. I do have a few more, uh, few more drafts that I'm writing on there. Just haven't gotten uh, the time to to, uh, to to draft everything, uh, you know, to correct everything. So I'm still doing that. But besides that, I wanted to give a, f a few opinions on stuff that I might be a little late on, but I still wanted to give my opinion on it. This is generally just an update of what's been going on with me. Um, so the first thing is that um, I want to talk about is the whole Ghostbusters um, reboot thing. And I know there's some controversy uh, going on with... Um, um, James Roth, the angry video game nerd, uh, in, in related to this, uh, but um, I might not be saying I'm not going to say something that I already know a lot of people have already said because there's a lot of people out there that um, I agree with, with what they're saying, and um, and and you know um, in in regards to um, James Roth, I agree with what he's saying and um, all the um, social warriors or the uh, FEMA they they they're FEMA Nazis or feminists um, obviously what's going on here is that Sony messed up they they really didn't know what they were doing or they just really just wanted to cash grab which a lot of a lot of Hollywood does right now they just reboot things that don't necessarily need to be rebooted um, but then they when they do it they don't do it with heart they don't do it. and you could obviously see that and you could obviously tell that they're not they weren't fans of the films they really um weren't um take into consideration the previous fan base and they want to introduce to a new fan base or whatever whatnot um you know what was really wrong with the uh hollywood in in general is that they tar they tend to target it a lot to uh the younger audience you know they and then once you get too old for them, um, they want to target someone else. They just want to, they constantly want to target the younger audience because, you know, they want to get that money. Um, but they don't target the older audiences. Usually, no. There's very few films that are targeted to, uh, you know, from the, from your early 20s to, uh, to into your, into your uh, 40s or something like that very few films that do that um, that are targeted to those type of audiences but in general what I, when I watched the uh, uh, I wanted to talk about this a long time ago but in general what happened was when I was uh, watching all the reactions everything else um, when I originally watched the trailer I didn't watch any of that so you know I was I had my opinion um, you know somewhat now that I've seen more videos of people reacting to it it hasn't really changed my opinion, but it has given me a more overview of what is going on. Um, the first trailer was very misleading, and it just wasn't funny. That's my opinion, and this is even before I even saw anything, uh, before I even saw any other people's reactions. And then the second trailer, it did a little bit better, but it still was pretty much the same. And... Um, my gripes on it is basically what everybody else is saying um, negative about it. It's basically what I'm going to say. And I just don't want to repeat that. But, uh, yeah, that, that's all I really want to say because I don't want to make this video too long about that. But, yeah, that's it. Another thing is um, in, in regards to the cryptocurrency side of things um, where um, Craig, I, guess, I believe the name is Craig Wright. The Australian entrepreneur that that <laughs> said he was a Toshi Nakamoto, that was so fucking bullshit. I don't know what's going on right now with this, but 
I, I know I'm late with that too, but I just wanted to give my opinion out there, and I just really think that it's bullshit. Um, he's not Satoshi Nakamoto. I and you know I had my suspicions that he might have been him, but it, honestly, um, I I don't believe him until he shows um, proof, real proof of if he could sign the blockchain where supposedly Satoshi Nakamoto's uh, account is, then then there's more you know then there's a, a more uh, um, it's more believable that he could be him. He might have been part of it, or he he may have known Satoshi Nakamoto personally and then Satoshi Nakamoto just told him to do this or something like that it could be a whole you know conspiracy theory you know with it but I, I don't know it's hard for me to believe so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna believe in that um, even though some people have said that you know it is him or whatever I just don't um, like um, um, uh, who's, what's his name I'm trying to remember right now um Garen Dreesen, I think his name is. I've never really, uh, you know, I have, I have my, um, I have some, like vibes from him that are just not, you know, he just doesn't act the way you're supposed to act when you're telling the truth. I have some, you know, his facial um, when they're interviewing him and stuff like that. I just don't agree with. I mean, I just don't see in the body language that he's telling the truth. It just doesn't seem like he is. Um, you know, he could be lying or whatever, or he could have been part of it. And, you know, they just don't want to, they just don't want to outright tell who, who was involved because a lot of other people that were involved obviously don't want to be named. So yeah, that's about it. What I want to take a talk about that. You know, I don't want to take too much long about that. Another thing is, um, I'm having a hard time because right now I'm not, I'm unemployed. I'm, um, I'm trying to do more work here on YouTube, but I'm actually looking for a job at the moment. So I don't want to say that the you know all this stuff you know personally, but uh, yeah, once I get more money to to invest in a uh, YouTube, like to get a better camera, to get better editing equipment, to get a better computer and stuff like that, then uh, obviously production is going to get better. Uh, I still want to make videos, so I do. Them any way I can, shitty editing, whatever the fuck I, you know, have to do, I just do it, um, like I said, I know my video content has slowed down a little bit, but that has to do with me, obviously, trying to look for jobs, and, you know, doing every, everything I have to do to just to get employment, I have been trading a lot lately, too, I've actually made quite a bit of profit <laughs> in the last few days trading, um, so that's good, um, and then uh, uh, video game wise, I do have an update coming up. I have a few games that I've bought. I know I'm not in that position to do that, but uh, I figured some of these things are in cheap. I, mostly PS3 uh, pickups. Some other, uh, well, I've only have another pickup from uh, a Vita, from the Vita uh, TV. Excuse me. Um, so that's I, I was going to come up to. So. Like I said, I'm trying to, to pump up more more um, content. Also, um, I've been thinking about doing movie reviews with my collection, my personal collection, and also with Netflix, you know, just or YouTube, any any film I see from any of these uh, sources, review them, talk about them, and see how that goes. Um, I know I did a, I did a few reviews back then. Um, I can't do a review with trailers because for some reason YouTube wants to be a bitch about it, and 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 I, and I try to make things like you know fair use where they say you could use like a few seconds of you know clips and stuff like that. I even do that, and sometimes I get caught, you know I, they flag me for that. I'm trying to be careful with that because I don't I don't have that many uh, I I don't I have many fl I got flagged a couple of times. Sorry, I can't talk right now. So I don't want to lose my channel, um, and um, also I want to talk about music as well. I've been thinking about doing reviews about music, but I'm a big music fan. You know, there's tons of albums I've been listening throughout the years, and I've been wanting to talk to to people about, but I just haven't had the time. Um, well, I haven't not that I haven't had the time, it just wasn't, you know, really knowing what what to do. 
and when I when I obviously when I do get editing software that I can uh, you know work with and it, it feels right I did find one right now recently and I have been trying it you know because you see some of my videos they are been slightly edited that's because I've, I've actually found something that kind of works it just doesn't fully work um, so I have to you know just to just to see what what I'm going through the phases to see what actually works and what's actually cheaper and, and whatnot like that um, and uh, yeah that's about it I might make an intro for each segment of my channel because I don't want to get a separate channel because then I feel like I'm doing more work than I should uh, so I figured that I can do everything on one channel just you know segment it you know do it do like intros for those particular videos so people know those are the videos that you want to see for this particular category and um, you know a playlist and that's what I'm going through that's my, my overall plan for for my format um, that's gonna come up I know I've been saying this for years but I just don't have the money um, right now so um, but when I get a chance I will be doing that um, I do get a lot of slight side gigs, so it's not like I'm not making money, but I'm not making enough money where I can be like, yeah, I'm fucking, you know, I'm getting a regular paycheck and whatnot. So that's what happens when you're um, an independent filmmaker, independent photographer, you know, whatnot. Um, I don't even have my own equipment, and I still get these jobs. I even get other jobs like other regular gigs that like, you know, shit, you know, stuff that you just do just to get a little money here and there. And that's that's another thing with my um, blog. It talks a lot about that. It talks about a lot of side gigs. It talks about a lot of, you know, passive income and stuff like that. So you should definitely check that out if you're interested. And that's what this basically what this channel is about. It's about everything that I'm interested in, but I'm just gonna separate them so people know what to watch. Beer reviews also. That's another thing. I know I haven't done many video beer reviews lately, but I, what I'm gonna start to do is gonna start to do a whole series of cheap beers. And cheap beers it doesn't necessarily mean they're bad, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're cheap. They're easy to to, to uh, get anywhere in the United States usually. Because I'm not gonna talk about any anything foreign, because most of the time you can't really get uh, a lot of international beers. But we do get some here. In the East Coast and and in the West Coast, I know they get some there too. Um, right now, I'm not I'm not living in the West Coast anymore, as people may have noticed. I'm living more in the East Coast now lately. Um, so that's what's going on. I um, I still have a lot of friends in the, in the West Coast, so you might see videos of me traveling over there every now and then just depends on the money obviously and you know if i'm gonna do something over there so uh i'll see you guys later and uh yeah that's it that's all i have to say right now thank you for watching please give it a thumbs up subscribe watch my previous videos whatever you want to do uh and, and uh thank you for the support